Welcome back to another episode of the Forza Horizon 3 Blizzard Mountain DLC. Today, we are going to be behind the wheel of the one and a half million dollar Koenigsegg Agera. So these cars are absolutely insane. They started production back in 2011. You guys can see that's the one we're going to have right here. It won Hypercar of the Year that year. And uh, ever since, they've been dominating the roads. They're still produced today. They also came out with the Agera R, the Agera RS. They now have the one-to-one, -one, which is kind of based off the Agera, but a little bit different, a little bit better. You guys know that. But um, yeah, so this thing, I mean, visually, it's one of the most unique and stunning cars ever. Performance-wise, I mean, you aren't going to get much better. This is one of the fastest cars in the world. It's got a twin-turbo V8 that puts out around 960 horsepower stock. Almost 1,000 horsepower stock, which is absolutely nuts. Uh, 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. 0 to around 200 miles an hour in about 15 seconds, which is nuts. And a top speed of around 273 miles per hour, which is absolutely insane. So... We actually have the one-to-one, -one, which is like the, the big daddy version of the Agera already. So what's the reason why we're going to be buying this Agera right here? Well, I will show you guys. So we're going to start off. I want one in white because I just I think that the white cars look really, really, really good in the snow. Um, how do we want to do this? Do we want white with the blue? White with the blue doesn't look too bad. I don't mind that. Should we go all white? Maybe all white looks a little bit better. Or should we go with just like a, a, a white like this? Ooh, that looks good. I just like white in the snow. I think the, the white and black color combo in the snow looks really, really good. So you guys get to see what I'm doing here. So we are spending 1.5 million credits on this car, which honestly is a little bit painful. That's almost all the credits we have saved up right now for a car we already have a better version of. But the reason is in Forza Horizon 3, the Agera has a very special modification that you can put on it. So uh, you guys are going to see that right now so we're gonna go back we're gonna go over to our garage and into upgrades and you guys will see if we're over here arrow and appearance you can actually wait where where is it hold on there it is oh my gosh i got scared for a second this is the entire reason why i wanted to buy this car because you can put a roof rack on it so it's it's kind of like you know we're taking our skis up the side of the mountain taking our snowboards up the side of the mountain I don't know what we're gonna have in here some sort of winter toy and I just I thought this would be really really sick and really fit the part of this DLC so we're gonna go ahead and purchase this thing how much just out of curiosity how much does a, a roof rack like that cost Let's see, 100 credits. I've got a feeling it'd be a little bit more in real life. But um, anyway, so we're going to take that. We're also going to go in the engine. We're going to upgrade the engine, put snow tires on it, do all that stuff. I'll let you guys know what that costs and how much improvement we see. And uh, then we're going to get this thing out in the snow. And we're done shopping. So for around 37,150 credits, we're going to be taking this from a 946 to a 977 uh, reducing the weight by a little bit there, and uh, the horsepower is got a pretty big increase. We're going up to around 1,400 horsepower now, so started around 1,000 stock, up to around 1,400. That's a, um, a pretty solid upgrade. So let's, um, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Let's go ahead and take a tour around this thing. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I love that roof rack, man. Like, you wouldn't really think that a roof rack would fit in with a supercar or a hypercar, but... Um, I think it looks pretty good. Like I said, we can hold all of our winter belongings, our skis and snowboards and winter jackets and stuff up there. And uh, we're going to be all prepared for whatever this mountain wants to throw at us. Oh, look at that. That is absolutely nuts, man. Those doors, they go out and then they turn. Or to close it, you turn and then come back in. Oh, that is so sexy. My goodness, man. All right. What do you guys say? We go ahead and start this thing up. Oh, it sounds sexy. All right, so let's see what kind of trouble we can get into here on Blizzard Mountain. I just, I love, I love the look of white cars in this game. In the, I mean, in this DLC, not just in the, like, I love the look of all cars in the game, but I love the look of white cars in the DLC with the white snow. You just, you look like, I don't even know, man. I, just, I really, really like it. All right, anyway, let's see, what should we do here? We have quite a few new events. We just went to our next level in our last episode. What's it? Ooh. Oh, it's got a blizzard warning. 
And it's a uh, snow forest hill climb. All right. So it looks like it's on the other side of our festival site here. This should be fun. Made it to our destination. The Blizzard Mountain Snow Forest Hill Climb. Let's see what we've got going on. 35 Drifter E-Drift skills. You guys know that's my least favorite type of challenge that we have to do. Oh well, we're going to try our best. And uh, let's at least get that win. Alright, here we go guys. Time to climb a mountain. We get some Lycan Hyper Sports and Venenos and... All kinds of crazy vehicles. Oh, okay. Starting off with a bit of a bang. Got our first challenge. Got two more. I was trying to get a fourth there. Couldn't hold it for long enough. Okay, so this race, it might actually be kind of easy to get it. We'll see. We're starting off in ninth place, which is not that great. See, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to hit the e-brake more than I normally would, and that's messing this up right now. Let's focus on driving and see if it comes naturally. Because this does seem like one of those races that's going to have a lot of, uh... Oh, I thought we were going to miss that checkpoint. It's going to have a lot of twists and turns all the way up the side of the mountain, so we might be able to get it naturally. Whoa! We could not turn at all right there. There is no turning happening. We're still in ninth. Not the best start we've ever had. We have snow tires on, don't we? Did I forget the snow tires? I'm pretty sure I got the snow tires. You see them? I don't think you can tell when they're already covered in snow. Wow. Because we're kind of getting killed right now. And there have been a couple situations where like, I'm trying to turn and we're just not turning at all. I don't know if we hit ice or if aren't properly equipped. We're 55% through the race and we're still in night. I think we're gonna have to restart this thing. All right guys, so this time I am strictly focusing on the race. We are gonna get first place. If we happen to get enough uh, drift skills while going up the mountain, then that's great. But um, we're gonna do everything we can to get first here. So let's see how that goes. I mean, we already have two, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get it naturally again. It's just tough. It's hard because I, wa I want to get the three stars, but when I do that, I focus so much on drifting around every corner that I don't race well. Like you guys saw, we were in ninth place because we were constantly pulling that e-brake, trying to drift when it wasn't even really necessary, versus now we're shooting our way up to top three. Get in there, baby. Woo! We can still get sideways a little bit. Gosh, this corner was hard last time. We ran right into it. Oh! 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 Yes! Woo! My gosh! <laughs> we got sideways and stuck. No way we just made it out of that. That should have been worth at least like 15, 15 challenge points. Yeah, that part, it was just straight ice on that corner. That's why everybody kept getting messed up. We've got this Benino to beat. 14 out of 35, and we're 56% of the way through the race. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna happen, man. Ooh, little jumps. Oh my gosh, I thought we were going to get some drift skills in there and pass them at the same time. Get him. Yes. Yes. Man, it's getting really bad up here. At least we have a lot of snow to drive on now. It's a little bit easier to control. When you're on that, like, hard-packed, sometimes black ice snow, it gets a little bit crazy. Up here, it's so deep. It slows down your car a ton. It makes it a lot easier to control. So we're at 20 out of 35. I'm trying to get everything I can in. Unfortunately, I just I think it's a little bit too late. Let's 
guy is also pretty close behind us, so we don't want to be too crazy. And we are going to go ahead and hit that finish line. All right, well, we are able to get a first place, which is going to be worth two stars. Unfortunately, we couldn't get all three, but um, that was fun. That was a good race. Let's see what we got going on next. We need 60,000 skill points to be able to get three stars here, which is going to be no small task. It is a three-lap race. The laps look pretty big, so we'll have some decent time to, to potentially knock it down, but we'll see what happens here. If I learned anything from the first race, I'm not going to try too hard to... Uh, not going to try too hard to keep it going. Oh, gosh. Oh, we might lose it here. No, nope, we're good. We've almost got 10k already. But like right here, oh yeah. I could have gone off the road and kept it going by getting more damage, but I just, I wanna I wanna try to get the win. Honestly, I'm not that impressed with the Agera. So obviously in real life, it's a vehicle that is absolutely insane and I mean, specs out the wazoo. Here, it's, I don't know what it is. Cause we've upgraded it. I don't know if it's the ski box on there, which that shouldn't really make that big of a difference, but. We aren't competing very well with these guys. Like, I can feel myself at a pretty heavy disadvantage. And I'm really, really, truly having to, like, go hard to try to even get close to the top spot. So we kind of need to focus on the racing and hope that the skill chain comes naturally. Which it kind of seems to be so far. We haven't even done with the first lap yet. So that's good. Woo! They all took that corner wide. We took a little shortcut, baby. Let's go. Lots of touchy-feely, rubby-rubby going on right now, but nothing too serious. Nice. We actually are keeping a nice little skill chain here. We're going to lose it. Before we get to this air, I got an 11,000. 11, oh gosh. That's the wall. We found the wall, that's good. Trying to catch up to this. Oh, bro, we gotta try the Bugatti in the snow. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll do that next episode. I didn't even think about that. We haven't touched the Bugattis in a very long time. Ah. Okay. Lost it, but we got into first. It truly matters. So we're halfway through, and we're about halfway through the race. If we can get a nice... Oh, man. See what I mean? Like, we are getting... We're getting killed. Sometimes. Almost missed that checkpoint back there. I don't know why we're getting so outperformed. This, it feels like we didn't do any upgrades, because stock versus stock, like usually the enemies or the, the opponents are going to have much better cars than you do, it seems like. But we did upgrade this, this Agera here, so I, I'm not quite sure what's going on. This guy on the inside. It's not even like this is that hard of a race, honestly. What kind of stinks is because we're up front now, we're not getting the drafting bonuses. We have less opportunity to be able to get skill points. This section kind of freaks me out. All the little lights on the ground are kind of hard to keep track of. We're 48 out of 60. Get a little drift right there. Dude, this is, it's tough. Because we're so close, I want to start throwing stuff. Keeping the skill chains going. Damage, come on, yes. But I also want to make sure we get this win. With that air. This is, if we just complete the skill chain, we got it. Yes! Challenge completed right here at the very end. Now all we have to do is not choke. Oh man, I got nervous. Now that I brought it up, I've gotten nervous. Here we go. Woo! 
We choked. 100 percent choked. Mega choke, mega choke, mega choke, mega choke, mega choke, mega choke, mega choke! No! I got so nervous at the end, dude! I got so nervous! Oh my gosh! I got so nervous at the end! As soon as I said choke, I just instantly, like, my mind went blank and I was just like, uh... What? We're gonna get two stars there. Oh my gosh, we worked so hard for that! It was such a long race! How am I gonna choke that at the end? I knew it! I, like, I knew it was coming! Ah! Very nicely done, but some of these other drivers are getting ideas. Hope you're ready to step it up a notch in the next round. We didn't even get two! I forgot that you need to do everything that the previous ones had. So we got the 60,000 skill points that was our, our biggest worry. And we didn't get anything else. We're gonna come back to that race. We're gonna come back in a different vehicle. I honestly, I'm, I'm just not impressed with how this vehicle is performing. I, I think it might be better on dry roads. We do have the snow tires. I was looking at it in photo mode. We definitely do have the snow tires. But it's just, it's not, it's not performing like I would hope it would. I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, what do we have here? Ooh, it's a super short, quick one. That's a long one. There's a danger sign. What should we do? There's another danger sign. Let's just, I guess let's do one of these races. What's the closest? This one? Satellite pass scramble. All right, here we go. I'm so, dude, oh my gosh. It's okay. It's gonna be alright, it's time to regain, this time, as if 60k was a, uh, a challenge, and we've gotta get 200k points on our skill points to be able to get 3 stars, but um, we're gonna do it. Obviously, I mean, just cause it's more doesn't mean it's gonna be more difficult. It all depends on the track, and we're just, dude, I'm, we haven't had a 3 star performance yet in this episode. I'm gonna give you guys a 3 star performance, I'm gonna do everything I can. I'm, I'm focused up. After choking that last one, I kind of want to cry just a little bit. So I'm going to make sure you guys get, get a nice, successful race here. Almost don't even want to pass these guys. I think we might be better off staying behind them because then we can get some ultimate drafting bonuses and stuff like that. Do we need to grab one of these? Yes! Got it. Okay. We just, we have a, a pretty big multiplier going right here. Had to use that e-brake. I was nervous we were gonna, nervous we were gonna lose it. Whoa, what? We lost it? I felt like, eh, I don't know. Okay, all right. We're good. So we got 80K on the first lap. If we could do that every lap, we'd be fine. Like that, oh, we've got some air at the end even. Okay, so the one thing we do have to remember is we aren't going to be getting all the passing bonuses. You do get passing bonuses at the start of the race when you're passing all those people, so it's going to be a little bit harder to build up a, uh... oh no, okay. Focus up, Trev. Whatever, let's just take first. I don't need drafting bonuses. We can just, we'll slippity slide around the map. We'll hit some of the, uh, the little road signs and stuff and we should be okay. Gonna rebuild. Ooh, side swipes. That's what we needed in yesterday's episode, and we couldn't freaking get. So now we know side swipes are just basically rubbing your side against something, which makes sense, I guess. It wasn't even working when we were rubbing our side on uh, other cars, though. I think it's an object, so like a wall or a fence or something that gets destroyed. Make sure we keep the damage up. We lost a little bit of speed there, but we're okay. I was trying to get something for wreckage there. Almost lost it. That would have been detrimental. Get the jump, get the jump. Yes, no! Come on, dude! We're getting screwed on our timing. Absolutely screwed on the timing on that right there. We should have had that, okay. We're already working on our next one. So we need 70k for this lap. 
70k without passing anybody or doing anything with other cars. No drafting, no other opportunities. We cannot lose. We cannot lose the uh, multiplier at this point. We need to throw some shapes, boys. Got that. Got that. We're also gonna have to get first place, though. Oh, no, dude. No! Oh, we might still be good. Challenge completed. Come on, go, go, go! I want a three star so bad! Let's get it, let's get it. We've got a right hand turn coming up just before the jump. Yes! Slow it down, no go to the wall. <laughs> let's go, boys! Oh my gosh, just the jump. Oh, we hit the wall there at the end. I was nervous. We got first place. We got 200,000 skill points. We got that win, baby. Oh my gosh. After an episode of fails, like the, the first race, the episode, we kind of failed because we couldn't get the drifts. That second race was an uber mega fail choke. Feels so good. So good to have some success here. Yes! Oh my gosh, guys. I am so excited about that. We unlocked a new car horn, and now we are three stars off of moving on to our next round of this competition. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. I say we take a Bugatti out in some snow. I think that'd be pretty cool.